always been sort of drawn towards it. Like, in my group of friends, I was always the funny one telling funny stories, and like, I'd remember the funny stories that got laughs and tell them over, you know. It was good. Um, I agreed to do like a show for my friends. They were in a band and they had me open for them. So I did like one show before that, kind of getting ready for it, but I was like so drunk I like, barely, you know, survived it. But then my first show was like in front of a, a big group of my friends and it went really well and yeah, it's kind of, I, I, I've got a lot of support through it, you know, it's been the best part. Bill Hicks, anything by Bill Hicks is good. Um, Mitch Hedberg. Black Friday and, savings um, in the spring. You'll find them now at the Home Depot. Right um, Mike Birbiglia. Like the yeah, I don't know if I can spend, spend narrow down to one special, but like, off. they've it's all got like such unique voices. Maybe like Anthony Jeselnik. He's so, uh, he's, he's a joke writer. He really writes jokes like set up punchline. He thinks about jokes like, I don't know. He's one of the, the most joke-centered comedians. I feel like that would, that would be fun. My might rub off on me. <laughs> what, George Carlin, Sam Kennison, uh... Uh, then I guess I want like local comedians. I feel like uh, Jake Reber would have to be in there, and then like maybe uh, Jax Howie, and then oh, I'm all over the place with this, but like uh, I mean, like Brian Posehn because I've met him a couple times and he probably wouldn't remember me, but. Mr. Show has always been one of my favorites, uh, the Upright Citizens Brigade, um, I mean Saturday Night Live, you know, it's hit or miss, but the good ones are great, Kids in the Hall, uh, and then also like I listen to podcasts and like the Improv for Humans podcast has been pretty kind of influential on me. For sitcoms... I, mean, I watched a lot of sitcoms growing up. Full House is probably the most influential. Um, uh, and TGIF, that whole lineup, dinosaurs and uh, uh, step by step and stuff like that. And then what else? Movies. Movies. The Jerk. Steve Martin's Jerk is definitely my name, number one movie. Um, and then I like the. Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz. And, um, I'm kind of like a movie snob. So I like to shit talk a lot of movies. But. I really, ideally, I want. I like. I've kind of felt like I've stepped into this producer role of like forming shows and relying on other comedians to kind of carry it. And it's been fitting really well for me, and like I really feel like this could be something I get more comfortable in, like creating shows and sort of handing them off, and being in like a more of a creator role and less of like an on stage persona. I still want to do stand up, and I still really want to like pursue that more, and you know, get booked as a stand up as well. But I'd also be more comfortable like just producing and participating in other shows, to, like a more backstage degree. I've always wanted to do improv. I've done like one improv thing, but it's like a, it's a very different skill set and a different like audience expectation from stand up. Um, what else? I've been. I mean, I've started these shows here called, on Tuesdays, Kaiju's Days, and it is sort of like experimental comedy. And, 
I'm getting to do a lot of the things that I've wanted to do. We've had like theme shows and quiz shows. And, um, really, I mean, as of right now, I have like such a great outlet for all my weird and dumb ideas that like I'm, I'm at a loss for like things I want to do and can't right now. Facebook, Greg Welsh, Gregory Gerard Welsh maybe, Gregory G. Welsh, yeah, I think that's what I am on Facebook, Gregory G. Welsh. Um, Kaiju's Days uh, is the page on Facebook, it's the word Kaiju and Tuesdays smashed together, so Kaiju's Days, uh, and we're also on Twitter, we don't tweet a whole lot yet, we don't have a lot of followers, <laughs> but yeah, Kaiju's Days is the show. That, like we're all weird together like maybe you're a little less weird because we're all weird together like that relatability of weirdness when you're you feel weird about something and somebody says it on stage and it like it val it's like a validation of sorts like your weirdness is is in fact normal I guess that's what I want <laughs> the takeaway is that weird is normal I'm Greg Welsh, and check out my interview on acutiepie.com.